All right, guys, welcome back to the last episode on the Audi Head. Let's get into it. All right, guys, so now we're actually going to epoxy the transition slots. I had some people asking about uh, how we do it and could we do a video on it. So uh, this is it. Uh, then we'll show you what we've done with the valve seats and guides and stuff like that a little bit later on. But basically, um, we had a few questions. Why don't I weld it? I generally try and limit welding where I can uh, because you can start bending the cam tunnels and all sorts of problems. And so... What I tend to do is just put a little uh, weld ball in here, uh, create a little anchor for the compound to hold on to, just as an extra safety feature. Um, look, I, I'm not scared to weld heads, but it just adds more cost if we're actually going to fully weld it and then having to straighten a cylinder head and stuff like that. Uh, guys have seen I do full closed decks for races uh, all over the country, so um, it's not uncommon for us to weld cylinder heads but again pick the the safest and easiest approach for your head uh, whenever you weld a cylinder head you're risking uh, sending it soft and something like uh, things like that that's why we use helium uh, to limit the um, how much hardness we'll lose. We also peen all our welds so in here it makes it a little bit hard not that these are a a strength weld but still so what we're going to do is put a little ball um, in the channel to help the compound hold on to it then we're going to mix the compound up do one side let it set flip it over do the other side and then we can do our final blending and finish the cylinder head off all right let's get in And that's pretty much all we're doing. So just a little, all right, so we've got our two parts, just 50-50 epoxy. I've just got a little bit of aluminium to mix it on, uh, a little bit of aluminium to mix it up with. I uh, should be wearing gloves, but I've actually run out. So just be really careful because it does get messy. We've taped the head up just above where we want to fill it. So we're going to overfill it slightly. So that gives us a bit of room to, uh, you know, finish it up. So let's uh, start mixing. All right, we're going to let that set now. Um, again, I didn't have gloves, but what you can do is use a little bit of water to shape it with your finger. So just get it in with a spatula and then shape it up if you like. So I'm just going to sit this here and let that set. That can be our testers. All right, we'll come back in an hour. All right, so now we're just going to clean it up and, and level that down. So I've already done one side, just roughed it out. Now I'm going to do this side and just show you. Um, we're just using the same cutter. Remember, this stuff is softer than alloy, so it's going to want to eat that more. So stay out of the trench and clean all around it first. All right. <laughs> There we go, we've just roughed it out, cleaned it up, 
really really light hands with this stuff um, you want to be really really careful with it because it is soft um, and also make sure you let it cure for at least 24 hours uh, otherwise it'll just clog your bits up um, so we're just going to rough out each one and then I'll lay the head back down and just give the port a once over but before I do that we've got to go to the bowls and blend the seats because uh, we've cut the seats now and they just need a little tidy up and I'll show you that a bit later. So this is what we're going to tidy up in the bowls. I'm just going in with a finishing burr. Uh, these are, this is one of my finer burrs because I'm going to uh, get a slightly finer RA in there and finish off the ports anyway. So I'm just going to blend the bowl, blend the short turn, tidy up any transition areas that the seats have created, cutting the seats. Uh, and then we'll go from the other side and just um, level out the texture of the port so it's a little finer. We don't need these too coarse, but I'm still finishing on a burr finish. So, um, yeah, let's do it. 